All right, guys, this is Axter99. I want to go ahead and show you guys a, I know, a rare, really good, like, indie gem that I found last night. And I was just looking at Steam while I was playing Dead by Daylight, while I was streaming Dead by Daylight over on my Twitch channel. And I came across this game that launched late last night, I do believe, uh, called Different Strokes. Now, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh man, this is going to be like a joke. What kind of crap is this? Because it's free to play, and then it has like a $3 DLC, 40% off. But then I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and try it and see what it's about. You know, I figured I'd doodle something out or whatever. But this is the first title by this developer on Steam. It is free to play, and it is online. Well, not online, but it does offer online art by everybody who uses it. And it does have a uh, premium version that costs five dollars, forty percent off its first week. I went ahead and jumped into that within ten minutes after jumping into this game, and I want to show you guys different strokes and what I love about it. And we'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. So when we launch the game, it is bright. Uh, so one thing I would, you know, maybe ask the developer is that maybe he makes this more of like a neutral gray kind of a tone rather than like so bright white. Um, but, you know, once your eyes get used to it or whatever, then it's fine. I, when I launched it last night, I was used to like playing those dark games of Dead by Daylight. And so when I launched this, it was like it burned my retinas for a minute. But when you come in, guys, you load the game, you have a Hall of Fame all time. So it's like an art museum. And you can go in here. Now, right here, the section here, the studio, this is what you unlock when you buy the premium version or whatever. This is lock until you buy that. So right now it's 40% off, so three bucks or five dollars. Other than that, it's a free game and you can go and browse everybody's art. You can paint art yourself, all that good stuff. But here, if you unlock this premium version, it kind of shows you uh, the paintings that you've liked or the art that you've liked from other people. And then it gives you a canvas here so you can, you know, paint. And when you paint, you have your fill, you have a brush. You can select how big you want your brush, uh, zero to six. And then you also kind of have, do you want straight lines or do you want to kind of have a, like if we go in here and we do straight lines, that's going to be able to let me do something like this. And you can set it anywhere in the middle as well. But if you do like a curved line, it's going to make curved lines a lot easier for you. So that's kind of how that works. And if we hit cancel, we back out of the painting. But I think that's pretty cool. And then up here shows kind of paintings that you draw or edit. So I'll show you kind of how this works here. But when we come in here, guys, when we come into that gallery, let's say you haven't you haven't bought the premium edition. So this is going to be walled off by you. Well, you can talk to these like NPCs, but they just kind of tell you about the game. But recent favorites, this is like, you know, uh, art that is getting voted up by other people that are playing the game. And you can see some of it is really good or as limited as the palette is. You, you know, when you draw a uh, empty canvas, this is what you see. But then you come up here, guys, and you look at this. And when you look at any painting, it'll let you show, show the original. It'll show you who it's edited by as long as they've logged in uh, to the game or whatever. Uh, this is uh, edited by Soap Sky. But if you click on the original to see what he turned into this, the original was uh, by Piper Paper. And all they did was make this on the uh, canvas. So they just doodled out some words or whatever. Scissor 7, 13, please. And then Soapsky turned that into this. And so that got a lot of votes up, and that's why it's a favorite. So I think it's really fun to come in here, guys, and just kind of look at all the different, uh, you know, sketches and doodles and everything like that that people are making. So this is just everything, you know, just right here. So like if it says, please fix this, and that means I can come in here and I can edit this and make this better or make this, you know, whatever. So let's say I want to come in here and I was like, you know what, let's make those clouds kind of gray, right? So I can come in here and make this gray and, oops, there we go. So I want to make these clouds kind of gray. 
And then let's say I want to go ahead and make this part here green. Well, I can do that or I can make it like dark green. There we go. That looks better. And then I want to make that sky. I want to make that black. So I want to kind of make it night, if you would. And then if you're done with it, you know, if you say, okay, that's done. Let's go ahead, though, and let's put... Let's put an eyeball on this moon and give the moon a smiley face. Yeah. There we go. So you can do whatever you want. Maybe give him an eyebrow. There you go. And uh, maybe make his mouth a little bit bigger. Kind of like that. Yeah. Perfect. You get that amazing however you want. And then you hit upload. And then people are going to be able to see that I edited it. And the original looked like that. And it was painted by gray water. And then when they go back to the current, they're going to see Zaxxer99 at Twitch TV made it like that. So they can, you know, vote on it at that point. But once somebody edits it, uh, it can't be edited again. So it's done. Like nobody can come in. I don't think anybody can edit it now. Um, and then you can also share a link. So you can get a link to this. And what it'll do is if you click the share link, it'll come up here and it'll give you a link where you can, you know, pass this to your friends on on uh, Discord or whatever social media, Facebook, whatever you want to do. But yeah, I, I think this is super fun to come in here and just... Uh, I think it's super fun to come in here and just kind of, you know, look at all the different... the different paintings people have made. And anything that says, please fix this, you know, hasn't been edited by anybody else, and you can go in there and, you know, change that however. And then something like this has already been edited by somebody else. It doesn't say who did the editing, but if we go back to the original, okay. So all somebody did was like draw some more of this in here. The original was like this, and then somebody just put more yellow and white. Um, and if you want to like it, you can vote it up, and if it gets enough likes, then it'll be in like the Hall of Fame or whatever. Yeah, but I think it's super fun, and there's so many drawings of it, like. You know, this thing just came out last night. This program just came out last night. But there's already literally like thousands and thousands of drawings and little art that's been done. And see, so we can come in here. We can see the original was that. And then if we go back to the current, yeah, I think he made it a little bit better. Huh. So we can like it if we want. And then coming through here, see the original. Oh, Sopsky made this. But if we look at the original, Yellow guy, and then Sopsky made that. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and like that. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, kind of like uh, just walking through a museum. And then I like how the rooms open up and just show you, you know, more of the stuff. Now, if you don't have a premium edition and you want to draw, I think you have to come in through here and find like an empty canvas, and it'll say like this one right here. It'll say paint me. You just gotta find one like this, and then and then you get a paint, right? So that's how you would paint one if you don't uh, buy the uh, deluxe version or whatever for the five bucks or three dollars on sale. So you could come through here. Yeah, I really like this. I've already, like I said, I've already spent over two hours in this uh, little little program since last night, and I think it's really cool. So definitely uh, let me know what you guys think if you try this out. I'll have a link down to it below. Uh, should you want to go ahead and try it out, and, you know, and try it out maybe free, see if you like it, and then if you do like it, maybe you want to go ahead and support uh, the developer by buying the deluxe edition, uh, should you want to. So, yeah, I mean, that's really cool right there. So this original was that. So if somebody just made an X and an O, and then somebody came in and turned that X and O into that. How cool is that? And that's pretty impressive considering the fact that you don't have any kind of like crops or you know you can't crop something and drag it or move it. It doesn't have all the tools you would expect in like, you know, uh, MS Paint program or even something really simple. But I, yeah, I think this is a super fun little art. If you, if you like to doodle, if you like art, if you like viewing other people's art online, then I think this is the perfect program for you, for sure. But let me know down in the comments below, guys, if you... Uh, you know, if you try this out and if you like it as well, if you think it's adorable or fun to, to mess around with, then definitely let me know. Uh, I would love to know. Yeah, somebody originally put that up there, and then somebody came in and said, oh, let's change that to that. Yeah, I th definitely think, they, I think uh, Wimbling Fool made this a lot better. Absolutely.
All right, guys. Thanks so much for um, exit. So we can go in there and make that a lot better. Um, but I'll leave that for you guys to do. Yeah, go in there and see what kind of art you can improve or see what kind of art you can make and show to the world on Steam. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if you try this program and if you like it. I would love to know. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.